Visualizing multivariate data is essential to do before performing any multivariate analysis. In this video, we will discuss some widely used plotting techniques for multivariate data in R. We will start with the basic R plotting techniques and then move on to the lattice library, which provides a formula interface for plotting multivariate data. We will also discuss specific plotting tools from ggplot and some 3D plotting techniques. To plot the pairwise scatter plot of all the numeric variables in the data set, we can use the pairs plot, which produces a matrix of plots where the ith, jth entry is the scatter plot of variable i and j. Note that if you have a lot of variables, it might not be a good idea to use a pairs plot since the individual plots might be very small. It is often useful to color plots by specific variables. For the iris data set, we can color the scatter plots by species. In the pairs command, we provide extra argument call equals iris underscore raw dollar sign species to color the points by species. Now we will draw a similar plot for all the four variables with the splom function. Using the formula interface, the first argument specifies the variable you want to plot. The second argument colors the point according to the species. And the third argument, pch, changes the symbol type. There is an entire data camp course on data visualization in R with Lattice, which will help you learn more about the full potential of the Lattice package. ggplot2 allows us to use a single line of code to automatically subset multivariate data, calculate statistics on the subsets, and provide plots specific to each subset, coloring them appropriately. We will first discuss the ggpairs function, which is similar to pairs function, but the upper triangle, the lower triangle, and the diagonal provide different pieces of information. In addition to the scatter plots that appear in the lower triangle, the smoothed densities for each of the variables by group are shown on the diagonal, and the overall and species-specific correlations are displayed in the upper triangle. The simplest implementation of ggpairs is to specify the data set data equals iris underscore raw and specify the columns to plot. For example, specifying one colon four plots all four numeric variables. Additionally, one can color by species and using the argument mapping equals AES with the argument color equals species. A similar plot using the generic plot function would have required several lines of code. Now let us move to 3D plots. There are a host of 3D plotting functions, including some interactive ones, which allow the user to rotate plots to adjust the viewing angle. In this lesson, we will discuss the scatterplot3D function from the library scatterplot3D. In this example, we plotted the sepal length, petal length, and petal width, and colored them by species. The first argument for scatterplot3D function is the columns of the data containing the variable of interest, and the second argument specifies what to color the points by using the argument color equals as.numeric iris underscore raw dollar sign species. You can also specify other arguments when using the scatterplot3D function. For example, here we change the plotting symbols to x's by specifying pch equals 4 and change the viewing angle from default value of 40 to 80 by including the argument angle equals 80. Now it's your turn to make use of some of these plotting techniques and explore the 